नमस्कार दोस्तों हमारे YouTube चैनल में आप सबका स्वागत है Why does the t-test command such attention in research? It's a question that lingers in the minds of many, and today we delve into the fascinating realm of t-tests and their interpretation. As a popular statistical analysis tool, the t-test provides researchers with invaluable insights into their data. It's like a key, opening doors to new understanding and knowledge. But to fully unlock its potential, one needs to interpret the results correctly. And here's how to do it. The first thing to grasp is what a t-test does. In simple terms, it compares two means to see if they are statistically different from each other. It's like a referee in a football match, determining whether there's a significant difference in performance between two teams. The t-test gives you three key pieces of information, the t-value, the degrees of freedom, and the p-value. Each tells a different story about your data. The t-value reflects the size of the difference relative to the variation in your data. A larger absolute t-value indicates a larger difference between groups. It's like the score in a game. The bigger the gap, the more decisive the victory. Next, the degrees of freedom, often abbreviated as DF, relate to the amount of information in your data. More degrees of freedom mean more information and thus a more reliable t-test result. Think of it as the number of players in a game. More players mean more data points, leading to a more comprehensive picture of the match. Lastly, the p-value. This is the probability that the difference you see in your data occurred by chance. A smaller p-value means that the difference is less likely to be due to luck and more likely to be a real effect. It's like the odds in a bet. The lower the odds, the more likely the outcome. Interpreting these results involves comparing the p-value to a significance level often set at 5%. If the p-value is less than the significance level, then the result is statistically significant. In layman's terms, it means that the difference observed is likely not due to chance, but a real effect. But remember, statistical significance doesn't always mean practical significance. It's important to consider the context and the size of the effect. So to recap, interpreting t-test results involves understanding what the t-value degrees of freedom and p-value represent. The t-value shows the size of the difference, the degrees of freedom reflect the amount of information in the data, and the p-value indicates the probability that the difference occurred by chance. Comparing the p-value to a significance level determines whether the result is statistically significant, but always consider the practical significance of the results. Understanding t-tests and their interpretation is like mastering a new language. It may seem daunting at first, but with practice, it becomes second nature. And with this newfound knowledge, you can unlock the true potential of your research.